Hello everyone, I wanted to welcome you to an episode of Factory Town. This, I just got my beta version access and we are going to give this to go. Uh, today we are starting on point oh three four Delta, which is an extremely alpha version. So, Factory Town is a game being created by an independent developer uh, to my understanding, he's independent. His name is Eric. Uh, you will find a link to the Discord about Factory Town in the description. I will uh, go ahead and send that down there. And uh, you will be able to join the conversations uh, for the Discord and see what's going on. Say hi to the developers. Say hi to the community be a part of it. Um, don't know when the release plans for it are at this point. Like I said, extreme early alpha. I'm going to be trying to do my best with it. I will try not to embarrass myself. Uh, you are seeing the very first time I'm playing the game. And so again, we're gonna go ahead with a new game. We're gonna zoom out. Um, I've watched some other people play the game. I'm very interested in it. Map size, large, medium, large. We'll go with large, why not? Um, plains and rivers. Apalag that's archipelago. Nah, 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 nah. Plateaus, nah. More plains and rivers. We're going to be the easiest one. Auto play space off. That way I have the ability to pick where I want to go. So right now we're looking for a good spot. Uh, a good starting spot will have some trees, some grain. Uh, be near stone, iron or semi later game. Does it need to be right there at the beginning? We can always get to it any other way. You don't necessarily need a compact base in this game. Uh, so from my observations of the game, you can be a little spread out without being punished for it. Um, a little bit of extra material for transporting if you need to get something from one side of the base to the other. But generally, you're not punished for having some segregation in your base. Uh, so we're going to try, you know, really this spot right here is a beautiful location. Nice and flat right here in the beginning. Let's see, is there anything else that stands out as great? Um, right at the beginning, like I said, we're going to need some grain. We're going to need some wood. Uh, nothing terribly spectacular is needed in the beginning. You just need to get going. Um, I still think that's the best spot. Look at all that iron ore. All right. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead with the middle of the map starting spot, you know, just like they uh, recommend. And I think this is a great map, and it will take good care of me. Um, as far as I know, like I said, I've never played. Oh, I thought I turned off auto play space, but that's okay. It's not a huge deal. So, uh, we click on a guy, right click, drag to base. Click on a guy, right click, drag to base. We're going to get them getting us some trees. Let's bring him over here, drag, and go. So, this is just general start, getting some food, getting some trees, getting things going. So build menu, buildings, we've got house, we've got a lumber mill. House requires 15 wood. Uh, footpaths require wood. Blocks, we've got scaffolding, we've got tools. So lots of really basic things in the beginning. Right now we need to gather wood for our houses. Um, so we'll, let's see, we'll grab this worker, have him drop off that food continue picking up wood with the rest of the guys you will do the same you can start over there so to get the house we need to oh 15 wood look at that we hit it so we don't necessarily want the houses crowded because later on we're going to build a market and that market is going to be surrounded by houses and those houses will be supplied by the market so let's start with, uh, we'll start here. We'll expand it out later. Um, not happy with the base being up on a hill, but we will knock that out later and figure out what we're doing with that. 
we're gonna go with our houses uh, left click the build open the build menu R to rotate the building and then let's go with right hmm no, what oh uh, let's go with wait for these guys to get out of my way I'm making this difficult I'm just spending all of my time trying to figure out where to put a house we're gonna put the house there um, so the house uh, it has a capacity of workers that's how you get more workers and right now we've got four out of six workers available workers worker we'll hire a worker we'll put them there we created a worker yay and supply the house so they want us to take the worker get it grain so you know we kind of did some of that already we're gonna tell this guy to get oh, not you come here get no you hey you come here get the grain bring it to that house so what that's gonna do is that will make the people in the house happy and it will get us coin the faster it's done the faster we get coin next we're gonna build some footpaths so we are going to build a row here just so things can move a little bit faster around houses not super necessary next we're gonna build a lumber mill we're gonna do that building lumber mill we're gonna do that right over here um, and escape out of that we're gonna go build tools remove resource we're gonna go ahead and delete those herbs oh can't afford to delete the herbs we need more gold to do that and to get gold we've got to wait for this guys to be happy so we're gonna do building lumber mill we have to wait for that so I may have messed up a little bit it's gonna take us a little bit of time to recover to get enough gold because we need 15 gold to build the mill and uh, that that's my mistake you know it, it happens um, but it was avoidable not worth restarting over it's really just a ton of kind of a time crunch so um, there are other youtubers playing uh, factory town that you can go out and find um, I will be speaking with uh, mock to see if he's interested in playing this game as well so you may see two separate recordings uh, on here and you may so you may have two different perspectives on how to play the game available to you and uh, so you may not just see mine so have yet to see if mock's going to be recording this also but you know it may be so you may see a lot of uh, factory town as a secondary thing I'm it's not gonna be my primary I'm gonna continue doing rim world um, and I'm going to be trying to make the most of that um, I'm going to actually build this over here when I get one more piece of gold and the reason I'm gonna build it over here is because I don't want it to have to fight with the housing because I want to be able to do a housing district and then we'll just use shoots uh, to move the lumber around because we don't necessarily need competition for space resources are not as much of a problem in the game as spaces Ooh, I forgot to get stone easy enough to fix hey you hey hey you guy get there there you go you get that um, so right now we've got 48 wood one grain in storage so in just a minute this worker here's gonna stop having things to do uh, so that won't be an issue so we've got one two you come over here you help as well um, we're up to two Okay, so we weren't just waiting on gold and I could have done other things. I've got to learn to pay attention to the resource counts. Um, we need a single population of worker because building this will require a worker to man it. So it doesn't, it's not just free stuff. Okay, supply your lumber mill. We need to bring enough wood to your lumber mill to craft a plank. To do that, we're going to get this guy here. He's going to do that. So as we're kind of going through this is going to be a thing over here where we keep building more houses 
building house. And so these guys will, you go from here, no, no, you go from here to here. You go from here to here. And so these guys are gonna keep working. They're gonna keep collecting coins. Uh, after, there we go, he just ran out here. I'm gonna bring him to get grain for that house. This guy will keep that house up. So they'll be doubled up. And here in just a minute, we're gonna to get to a market. Um, so we need to bring some planks back to our base, which means we need to grab a U. And you come here. And, oh. Grab planks. Why are you, oh, there you go, there you go, you're grabbing. Okay, so, you know, we're, we're gonna keep going. Slow in the beginning, you know, trying to figure out the controls. Uh, we will get to being able to do shoots and conveyor belts later. Um, and that's going to be a wonderful time for us. And we collected planks. Now we need to upgrade our houses is the next thing. So we need five planks to upgrade a house. Yes, it's a little inconvenient having them walk that far. Not a huge deal in the long run. So as you can see here, market. Market costs 25 gold, 10 planks. That's gonna be a wonderful thing to have. Um, the next thing we should probably do, grain mill, workshop. So when we have the opportunity to, a barn right next to this will make this these planks available for us in building. And that's really where we need it the most is in the building aspect of the game. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna keep um we're gonna keep going here. We're gonna let them go. I don't know if there is a mechanism to speed up time. I don't think there is. I'm not aware of one. I've never seen anyone be able to speed up time. Um, would not be a bad thing to have in these early stages, the ability to have them go a little bit faster. Um, because, you know, in the beginning of all of these types of games, it's a little slow. But it does pick up once you get past this initial kind of tutorial phase that we're in right now. Um, and it's not going to take us long to get past mm -hmm. this. So we're going to keep on going. Um, we're at six, which is what we need to complete that part of the quest, which is upgrading the house. Now that we upgraded the house, the house wants wood. So we're gonna take this guy, tell him to deliver from there to there. And what that's gonna do for us is it's going to save us some time with that. So the next thing we need is a market. To get the market, we need 25 gold, 10 planks. So they're working on that now. We're not terribly far off of that. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to grab another worker. And we're going to have him also carrying planks to there. So in this lumber mill right now, we have um, nine planks stored up. So we're definitely on a backlog of planks, mostly due to the distance away. It's painful in the beginning having that distance, but for the most part, uh, it's, it's not a huge deal. Because uh, here, very shortly, that distance is going to be negated by some more buildings, some more options. So it's not going to be something that's really a long-term pain. And starting with the distance actually prevents us from having pains down the road because I won't have to rebuild half of our base just to get things back out of the way again. As you can see, he's slowly tearing down the trees as he goes. Uh, he's a strong little man, just ripping the trees apart with his bare hands. So you definitely don't want to make these guys angry. They will make you pay for your transgressions. So market, we are two more planks away. They will be here in just a moment. 
And once we get those two more planks down to one more, he's on his way. Next, we get to, oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. So with this, as you can see, it has a radius. And this is the radius that things will automatically be supplied by the market. Uh, we're going to want to put it right about there, I think is a great spot. It allows us to have things near the road still. Next, we need to supply the market now instead of the house. So he'll go there, you. You'll go there, you. You will go here. And you. Um, you continue doing what you're doing. So that small transition. So we've got a sales cycle. You can't modify it. So the sales cycle is what it is. But what it does is it allows for you to centralize your deliveries rather than having them go everywhere you can have all of your deliveries to go to one location which is the market so I'm not terribly certain how much space these houses need now that we're in this scenario next they want us to build a school we can't afford it yet um, but soon enough we'll be able to we need 10 planks and 60 gold so this has three planks and that. So we're gonna upgrade this house. I'll let that start coming in a little bit faster. We've got, these two houses are happy. We've got lots of food being sold. The food houses need food. They're getting, right now they're getting grain and they are getting planks. I can see different things have different values for shelter and for food. So as we advance, we're going to be able to upgrade the commodities that we're delivering to the market. And those upgraded commodities will allow us to collect more gold and will keep the people happier for longer. So, you know, right now a plank counts as three construction or three shelter um, and they will slowly over time be consuming that and the, sh the food. So we want to make sure that we are upgrading what we're delivering to the market over time so that way we can constantly keep people happy and not run into downfalls of you know, not being able to keep up because we're still providing wood when we should be providing stone or we're providing stone when we should be providing iron. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that as we go. And right now we need a grain mill. So for the grain mill, we need to wait for one more plank to come in. And I'm intentionally delaying things because the amount of gold we need is not going to go down. And I'm going to go ahead and grab another worker there and have him go from... Oh. Now, hey, you got to hit escape a lot. you got to remember all the little nuances. It's not as refined as far as... Oh, no, you're, you're getting stone, not wood. It's not as refined as uh, games that are a bit further along to where it intuitively knows that if you're doing one thing, but you click on something completely irrelevant, it want, you're, you're done with the thing you're working on. Uh, but like I said, and like it says at the top, extremely alpha version so not not a big deal it's really it's something that we're just gonna have to work with and something that we're gonna have to be mindful of and those quality of life items will come up over time so the grain mill this is one of those items that are going to give us a quality of life increase so with this we are going to rotate that to face there and we're gonna put it there for now and then these guys are going to put it in the grain mill and you there you're gonna go from the grain mill and you're gonna bring flour to the market and now you'll see in the market the amount of grain we have, the amount of food we have is primarily in grain right now. 
we see provided by flour six. By taking that grain, making it flour, and here, so every three grain makes one flour, but every flour counts as six food. So we're doubling the value of the grain by running it through the, the grain mill first, which is going to make these people a lot happier for a lot longer. Now it takes three workers to maintain this at this moment. It takes three workers, one to move it from here to here, one inside the grain mill, and one to pick the wheat and put it in. That will get a lot better down the road. Sell flour, you can now produce flour, sell it, bring it at the market, sell it for a premium. We're doing that now. So we've got this coming in and the flour's coming in. We're starting to get ready to sell it and we're going to get uh, a lot more for the flour than we were for the grain. So I uh, don't know how long we have to wait to to achieve that quest objective, but we're gonna get there. So pasture produces animal products, wool, leather, fertilizer. Workshop produces more valuable items and produces wagons. Um, we've done the lumber mill, market, grain mill, workshop. We can't do any of those yet, so we are waiting for the market to sell flour to the houses and should not be too much longer because the market is almost out of grain. In fact, I wonder, can I tell you to take the grain out of there? And put, no. you, you, take the grain, put it in there. Okay, now take the flour, put it in there. Yes, yes. All right, so that would have been smarter to do earlier, um, but I didn't think of it till now. So now we're waiting for these houses to need some, what are you complaining? Okay, you're waiting for it to, to craft some. So you're kind of on a wait period. So we're gonna see his little dot, dot, dot come up, basically saying, hey, I'm trying to work. The materials I need are not there. And right now we are still waiting on a house to be down by six food. And once we get that, one of them will buy a piece of, or a bag of flour, and they are going to start eating raw flour. And once we get that, we will see an improvement. Let's, we'll, we'll sit and watch as well, because we should also see the amount of gold we get go up from that flour once it's sold. We're still seeing lumber come in, five for flour, so not a, doubling of the value of gold, but close, pretty darn close. So building workshop, we need to build a workshop now and we're gonna come over here with it so we're out of the way. We may be doing other things with this later, building a barn, we need gold for that, should just be a moment, no, we don't want a pasture. Now we've gotta wait for either two more pieces of lumber to sell or one more piece of flour. So early game, lots of waiting, not a whole lot we can do about it. Decor, we can build fences, how pretty. Uh, paths, we've got shoots. Shoots are wonderful things. We can do that. You there, sir, just drop it there. And we'll watch it. Bloop. He didn't have to walk as far. Now we've got build, path, shoot. And we'll go like that. And you there, just do that. Now we are waiting on a barn, building barn. So what this barn will let us do is it will allow us to have storage so first we need a wooden wheel and to build a wagon which is a worker we need wooden wheels we need planks we need gold um we're gonna start with you there you sir yes you sir come bring it there so we can't do a shoot there 
because it doesn't work. So only raw things will use the sheet. So I don't know. Okay, right click to remove. Okay, so that's how you delete things. There's no universal delete. You have to select the item that you're working with and then you can delete it. So we're here. This is kind of the start of the game. Um, I think we are far enough in that I think I should call it for now, but we're going to pick this up later. We're going to make this move a lot faster as we go. We're going to start getting more automation. We're going to start being able to research technology, and then we're going to be a lot happier. And before I go, let me just set these guys up to speed up this process. And then you're going to work from there. You actually are going to go from here to here, and you're going to make wheels. And we're going to do that. And then, actually, there's two guys here. I'm going to take you, and you're going to take wheels and put them back in the barn. So we've got one guy in the woods putting logs into the lumber mill, guy at the lumber mill putting planks in the barn, guy at the barn putting planks in here. The wood wheels are now getting shipped back to the barn. And we have a process that lets us make work wagons. Now, wagons are workers. They can hold more. But that's conversation for another video. I'm going to let them build up a tiny bit of resources so you spend less time watching me wait in the next video. And if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more, hit subscribe, hit the notification buttons, and you will be told when we release more content for you. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you really didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let us know down in the comments how we can do better for you, what you thought, if you have any tips for us on this. If there's any games that you want us to play, go ahead, let us know, and we will see you in the next video.